Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to highlight and contour for oily skin. This tutorial is part of a series called the Beginner's Guide to Makeup. So if you'd like to see more videos, click on the link on the left hand side. Taking my Conceal and Define Concealer from Revolution, I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes, being careful not to go too close to the lash line. You don't want too much product up there because it can tend to crease that way. Next, I'm going to take the concealer down the bridge of my nose, being very, very careful not to, um, just to create a straight line basically. Apply it to my chin and above my lip. So next, I'm going to take a dry beauty blender and blend out that concealer being sure to focus on the edges as well because you don't want a harsh transition between your foundation and the concealer so you just want to be careful of that. Just make sure that you're not patting too hard because you don't want to end up taking off the concealer. We are working with a sponge guys remember that so you don't want to remove the concealer that you've just applied. Remember guys, there's no time limit to this. You just want to keep blending and just ensure that there's no harsh concealer lines and that your under eye looks flawless. As you can see, I always look up when I'm blending just underneath my eyes because I feel like that helps with the creasing. So I'm just blending out that concealer on my upper lip. So if you notice guys, I'm going side to side. I'm not sweeping, I'm not dragging. I'm literally tapping really fast and I'm going side to side because that helps to blend the concealer. You definitely don't want to swipe because that will just take off your foundation and you don't want that to be moved at all, so yeah. Now I'm taking the pointed part of the Beauty Blender and I'm literally just blending out that nose highlight. And if you notice, I'm literally just going up and down. I'm not moving it to the side at all because if you do, you'll have a wonky nose, literally. <laughs> and you don't want that now. So with the forehead, I'm doing the same similar motion. I'm just kind of keeping it in the center of my forehead and just trying to blend out the edges. If you find it hard to kind of blend out edges with a beauty blender, you can always use a brush. So here I'm just making sure that the nose area of my concealer isn't too, too harsh. You'll see me going with a brush in a sec to um, blend that out a bit more. Just using my e.l.f. Flawless Coverage brush and just blending out those lines there. Because we want this to look soft, guys. We don't really want a harsh contour. So next I'm using my Fix Plus from MAC and I'm going to spray my Beauty Blender and also my number seven Perfect Translucent Powder. And I've started off with a really small amount because you don't really want to add too much too soon. So I'm just patting that into my under eye. And if you notice guys, I haven't really baked at all. I've literally just used the powder and I've blended it right into the skin and look how flawless that looks. So what I'm doing, I'm literally just applying the setting powder to everywhere that I've put the concealer, just to set those areas. So I'm now going to set my face with the Infallible Pro Matte Powder and I'm applying this to the perimeter of my face. This will really help with the oil and this will make your makeup last all day. My skin is super oily and this just really helps me. Next up, I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder Foundation. I'm gonna start at the top of my ear and blend diagonally till I get halfway across my cheek. So I'm gonna build up the product. So you wanna keep in this area first before you start traveling diagonally. So just build up that product first and then you wanna blend it downwards. Just gonna keep going, keep blending until you're happy with the result of that. 
what you can do if you find that your contour line is too strong you can always blend it into the cheeks because that will help take away that strength out of the contour Next, I'm going to move on to the temples. You definitely, definitely, definitely do not want to skip this step. I don't care if you've got the tiniest forehead, guys. <laughs> you always want to shade in the temples and shade in your the perimeter of your forehead because it just helps the, the contour to tie in together and it helps it to look more natural. So next, I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm starting off by taking the contour shade into my eyebrows first. So I'm starting just at the my tear duct, near my tear ducts, and I'm going straight into my eyebrows. If you notice, it's slightly curved. And then with really light pressure, I'm just taking it down the sides of my nose, just making sure that you keep it pretty straight. And I'm shading in just the tip. So this will help my nose to look a lot a little bit more shorter and also slimmer obviously next i'm taking my b beauty blusher and i'm going to apply that onto my cheeks so i'm starting from those apples of my cheeks first and i'm blending just above where we've put that contour so i tend to like to actually just blot it on because i quite i like a lot of blusher so I like to get the most out of it by blotting it onto my cheek. If you want more of a natural looking blusher, then it's best if you blend it and buff it in rather than blotting it on. Next, I'm taking my Glow Fusion Highlighter from Kiko and I'm going to apply that just above where I've put that blusher. So I'm starting off in the apples first and I like to blend downwards into the blush up first and then I carry it just along my cheekbone towards my hairline. Look at that guys, I love this highlighter, it's so pretty. I'm going to do the next side now. Same thing, we're blending down into the apples of the cheeks first and then we're carrying it along our cheekbones. Next, we're going to use the ring finger and blend a little bit of that highlighter on the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose. This just helps to add to the glow. Nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you again soon.